what's up everybody welcome to transforming with sarah thank you as always for clicking on today's video uh, for my subscribers welcome back thank you as always if you're new here hello and welcome my name is sarah and this is my ketogenic weight loss transformation journey from uh, morbidly obese to a healthy weight today i'll be going over foods that you want to focus on eating foods you want to avoid and then of course, um, the foods you wanna limit, things like that. Uh, just kind of breaking it down a little bit better. So without further ado, let's get started. So of course, I will go ahead and link below my first video for my Keto 101 if you wanna watch that. Now, if you did see, you do know that there is a website, Keto for Beginners Like Information, that I'll go and link that. That's where I really honestly got all my information at the very beginning of 2018. It's very informative. It helps you break things down um, to a different level, but I'll just go ahead and give you my recommendations from that, but also just what I did. Um, now, when I'm doing this, I'm going back to 2018 when I very first started keto. Um, if you know me, I essentially lost 50 pounds, gained it all back, restarted keto October 11th, so almost three months ago now. Um, so when I talk about keto for beginners, I'm thinking back to 2018, my very first time experiencing keto, because it's different if you leave keto and go back, it's smoother. But I'm talking about that very first introduction transition into keto. Um, so if you didn't see, I essentially wrote down um, back in 2018, all the foods to eat, all the foods to avoid or limit. Believe it or not, this is that paper from 2018. I did not um, rewrite this. It literally sat on our fridge with a magnet. Since then, it's super handy just to see it when you're grocery shopping, when you're meal planning. Um, that way you know. Just real quick, want to recap that keto is that high fat, moderate protein, low carb, no sugar diet. So obviously, of course, you're going to want to cut out all sugars. Um, you even want to cut out a majority of fruit. I'll go over the fruits that are um, you can limit on keto. But for a majority, you even want to cut those out as well because it's the natural sugars. Um, you also, of course, want to cut out those high starches, but we'll go and break that down. Uh, so, of course, with keto... Most people uh, will want to, like percentage on your diet, you'll want to have 75% of it is going to be fat, healthy fats, and then you're going to have 20% of your diet about protein and meat, and then that last 5% is going to be carb, in which, um, depending on what you want to do, that's up to you, but I suggest trying to do 20 total carbs if you can, but to start off, if, if it helps you to ease into keto, you can definitely do the 20 net carbs a day. So I'll go ahead and start with just like a general overview of things that you want to cut out. Um, I know it seems like a lot, but honestly, guys, if you invest in yourself, invest in keto for at least three weeks, more than likely you're going to see weight change. You're going to see those changes feel good, feel healthy. So really just try to invest in yourself in keto for three weeks. Um, just give it a try for that time, and then if you don't like it, go ahead and go back. Uh, so things you want to avoid, I know this might seem like a lot, but I'll get into substitutions later. So um, really, like I said, cut out all sugar. Um, if you can, processed foods. Of course, cut out sodas, but if you're doing... If you're addicted to that and need something, you can go ahead and do diet soda on keto. It's not the greatest, but if it helps you transition, that is perfect. Um, sometimes it's all about taking those baby steps to get used to it, and then you can start really cutting it out. So I totally get it. Um, if you need to do diet soda, go ahead and do that. Um, it's better than the regular. And then, of course, uh, the big things are you want to cut out all potatoes. I know. I love those too. But you do adjust to it, I promise. You also want to cut out any pasta, grains, wheat, uh, so bread, all of that. Uh, just go ahead and put it aside for three weeks, give it a shot. Those are your big main things that you want to get rid of. Um, so I'll go ahead and go into, I guess, the things you want to limit. Now, with keto, you want to do a majority of the vegetables that are grown above soil because belows tend to have um, a lot of carbs. And since you want to keep below 20 carbs a day, um, there are quite a few that you can have, but you do need to limit. 
Um, so some of the ones that if you eat them, you need to limit them would be like carrots, onions. Um, now with that, there's an exception because I've noticed that the yellow and the purple onions have a lot of carbs, but if you do like those um, green onions, those ones are okay. But as far as limiting, you do want to limit those. Um, beets, potatoes, of course, sweet potatoes. Uh, as far as fruits, these are ones to also limit. Cantaloupe, plum, peaches, pineapple, cherry, essentially all the fruit, you guys. Um, like I said, I'll link this below. That's can be healthy but there are certain ones that you would uh, lean towards versus others because for example cashews have 27 carbs and I do believe that was one serving I'll see if I, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong but like cashews have 27 whereas um, walnuts have seven pine nuts would have nine hazelnuts seven so the ones the nuts I stick with when doing keto would be uh, macadamia nut, um, pecan, and almonds. Those are my three go-to for that as like a little snack or just added on for the um, protein, fat, whatnot. Um, I think a majority of keto people usually do macadamia nuts, um, which are also super delicious anyways. You just have to also make sure to limit so you're not eating like handfuls of macadamia nuts because that could throw you out of ketosis if you eat way too much. Now, of course, um, things you want to avoid would be like barbecue sauce, jam, ketchup, and tomato paste because tomatoes do have high carb there are some um, low carb tomato spaghetti sauces um, I'll go ahead and get more information on that and link it below for you guys um, but things that are usually good are like mustard um, mayonnaise if you can do avocado mayonnaise that would be better because a lot of mayonnaise do have vegetable oil added in um, moving into fats, of course, you want to avoid like the canola oil, peanut oil. Now, the healthy fats that you do want to focus on would be coconut oil, avocado oil, lard, bacon grease. Those are all actually healthy. Believe it or not, I know bacon grease doesn't seem healthy, but it actually is. I pretty much cook everything in bacon grease or another healthy fat is butter but make sure to do the actual grass-fed, grass-finished. You don't want margarine, um, you want the actual butter. I am a big fan of Kerry Gold. Um, they are a grass-fed, grass-finished butter, so I'll usually cook in that, bacon grease. Um, since I specifically am doing carnivore, I'm not doing um, like avocado and coconut, but they are perfectly okay for keto, especially starting off. Avocado was my favorite because it does have a high smoke point. Um, so I definitely suggest that one for starting. Now, even on keto, actually another good thing for fats, but also just giving that extra little treat is cheese. You can actually do cheese on keto. Um, I personally just discovered that Carrie Gold again, also has a grass fed, grass finished cheese called Dubliner, which was absolutely delicious. Um, but even before that, I would just do like little slices of cheese again. You probably do want to limit that a little bit. It can cause constipation as well, but weight gain if you eat way too much. So yes, you can have it on keto. Um, I'm just gonna advise, try to limit it as much as you can. Keep it as a treat for yourself, but that's my personal suggestion. Again, do what works for you. If you, some people can eat a lot of cheese on keto and still lose weight. If you notice that you're not losing as much weight, then try to cut out the cheese. Sometimes that will help. And then of course, um, I do have a lot of recipes as well where you can also use cream cheese. Um, that is also good on keto to add into your recipes. Um, and some people even like to do cream cheese wrapped in bacon. That's super healthy too. Um, but that also made my list of recommendations. So second to last, the main part is going to be the veggies because of course you want to cut out all of the potato, rice, pasta. So what are you going to replace it with on your plate is those healthy veggies. Um, so these are the ones that you can eat pretty much unlimited, so to speak, or just as much as you want because you're going to feel full. Um, so of course there's going to be spinach, lettuce, avocados, and avocados pairs both the course of the healthy vegetable and fat, and you get the omega-3 fat from that. So avocados are really good. 
um, olives, asparagus. I do love doing baked asparagus and even baked broccoli, cauliflower. Those are next on the list. Cucumber, um, zucchini. There's even zucchini noodles so you can make like a stir fry. Um, then of course cabbage, green peppers, kale. Um, those are all really good. There are way more. Those are just the ones that I mostly use on keto. Um, so I'm just sharing that with you guys. Now, lastly, as far as like the good things, of course, drinks, like I said, you want to cut out all the soda, sugary drinks, um, juices, whatnot. What you do want to focus on is of course water. Um, super important to stay hydrated, but also uh, you can do tea, like hot tea, iced tea, just to make sure, of course, again, that it is unsweet. Um, and then also coffee. There are some alcohols that you can have on keto, um, but just keep in mind that if you have alcohol, your body is going to have to process and take care of that first, so it stops the production of ketones while your body takes care of the alcohol that you just put into your body. And then after that, it goes back into working through keto. Um, so careful with that. But um, the main ones are, of course, water, coffee, tea. Now, as far as sugar, because I am addicted to sugar, so I know that that transition was a little bit hard. There are things you can do um, for cutting out sugar. You can do stevia. I used a lot of stevia. You're going to go for like the zero carb um, sugars. And then my favorite that took me a little bit to find was the monk fruit sweetener. You can actually get those on Amazon or most grocery stores will have it. Uh, but I love to use the monk fruit sweetener. It doesn't really have that bad aftertaste to it. Um, so that definitely does help and it does come into play when you start making desserts. Uh, so as far as substitutions, I know a lot of it seems like you're missing out on all these things, but um, there are so many keto substitutions so that way you don't have to feel left out. Um, honestly, the best way is just to see what you're craving and Google it and put the word keto. Um, so like, for example, um, you know, mashed potatoes, there is bird's eye who does like a cauliflower mashed potatoes, but the way they season it and do it, um, it turned out really good. Um, you can also do, I've seen like keto tamales. You could literally type in keto tamales in Google and find lots of recipes. Um, I do, I have my own shrimp fried rice with cauliflower rice. Um, when, when you add the correct seasonings and spices, it tastes amazing. So I love that. I have my own, like I said, stir fry recipe with the noodles. Um, as far as desserts, my absolute favorite keto dessert is a um, pumpkin cheesecake recipe. Of course, that crust is made out of pecan, but it was absolutely delicious. That's definitely a holiday treat. So there are going to be a lot of substitutions. I can do a video on that in the future. Um, so I thought I'd really just provide with you my main suggestions for those foods that you want to be focusing on for when you start your keto journey. Um, there's always so many substitutions, things to do. That link below, like I said, will give you a lot of um, options, breakdowns. I think it even breaks down the alcohol, things like that. That way you have it, but I don't want to go through all of it because there's so, so much, you guys. I'm just here to tell you that keto is worth it. You don't have to feel like you're losing out on anything because of all the substitutions. Just to give it three weeks and then I think you honestly will like it, especially the weight loss and other side effects that come with it. So I think next video I will either be doing a, um, like what to expect on the first couple of weeks on keto or I can start looking into recipes uh, for substitutions if you guys want that. Go ahead and comment below and let me know. Um, I always love to hear back from you guys. I'm just excited to help people who might have that goal to lose weight, to get healthy. That's what I'm here for and my channel just to share everything with you. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. So until next time, you guys, remember to stay strong, stay positive, and you've got this. Bye, everybody. Thank you.